truth and justice. Kieran is a man who has uh, literally been imprisoned for the pursuit of truth and justice. He's a man who's testified to the good news of Jesus Christ on national TV. I watched the 2016 Andrew Denton series last night that he was in, involved in. And Kieran, you are such a great symbol of, of Jesus in the world today. Uh, a passionate Catholic, so passionate that you're prepared to go to extraordinary measures for uh, in, the, in the name of, of peace, in the pursuit of... Uh, of the many uh, injustices that this world faces that you've been brought up in for all of your life. Thank you for dedicating your life to, to Jesus and your life to truth and justice. And going to show appreciation for our brother Fletcher. I'll get Peter to come in the middle for a second. Yeah, I think we're good. Before we do pray, Peter will just share a little bit about um, this. Uh, yeah, thank, thank you uh, for your solidarity and hospitality. I was around Emmanuel in the 70s, when I was 16 or 17, and now I'm, I'm proudly 62, and um, that was quite some time ago. And it's just great to come back to worship in such a context where the space has been uh, sanctified by the service and solidarity with the poor on a daily basis. I've spent my adult life um, with the Catholic Worker Movement, uh, Dorothy Day, and uh, the priests, Daniel and Philip Berrigan. Uh, the basic practice is to realize the beloved community, like you're doing here today. The acts of mercy to feed the hungry, shelter the homeless, visit the imprisoned, and uh, prophetic acts of nonviolent resistance to the principalities and powers uh, that create poverty and death. And um, Dorothy Day had a saying, called us to comfort the afflicted and afflict the comfortable. And Philip Berrigan had a saying that um, the poor tell us who we are, the prophets tell us who we could be, so we hide the poor and kill the prophets. And one, one of our present day prophets is uh, my personal friend and fellow Queenslander, uh, Julian Assange, who's in prison in England, and he's only in prison for exposing the high crimes of empire. And uh, I intend to go back to London. I was with Julian when he was first arrested in 2010. He used to visit him at the embassy. I spent six months in the street with the outside the embassy before the British police took him. And I'm going back there now to stand in the streets again in London solidarity with him outside Downing Street, outside Belmarsh Prison, uh, outside Australia House to bear witness to his invisible suffering. So uh, I hope you keep him in prayer and, and keep me in prayer because you never know what happens with these things. And once again, thank you for your hospitality and, uh, and your solidarity. Thank you. Just a few people will come forward and we'll just lay hands on Kieran, our brother, as we do in this, our tradition. And um, for those who can, just from afar, just raise a hand. Come forward, guys. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for our dear brother. We thank you for the, the conviction on his life, the, the relationship that you've called him into, the, the powerful passion he has for good news in the world, and the extraordinary extents that he's prepared to go to in the pursuit of truth, the pursuit of justice, the pursuit of making known good news face of struggle with Jesus. Come Holy Spirit this day. Come and send him forth. Come and commission and guide his every step, Lord Jesus. Come and lead him and his, his community, his people, those whom he represents, Jesus. Yeah. Peace and solidarity. Thank you. Give the words to speak, Lord. Give the, give the give good discernment, God. Give the discernment of when to act, when to sit, when to stand, when to, yeah, when to be still. Jesus, God, Kieran's of his, of his step and, and provide for him, Father. He's a man of, of providence, believes in divine providence. God, I pray that you have multiplied the offering of his yes at this time. We ask this in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Can we show appreciation for our dear brother? Thank you, brother.